right? We have x to the third power. We're looking for three zeros. Now, if we look at the back end there, we just have positive one. At the front, we also have positive one. The only factors of one are one and negative one. Great, we only have two things that we need to test. So let's say we test one. We have one x to the third, three x squared, three x, and one. Now, if you've been listening to me, think of a puzzle, we're gonna need a negative one back here. If I'm multiplying positive numbers the whole time, we're not gonna get negative one. So I'm just gonna check negative one. Negative one times one is negative one. Three plus negative one is two. Negative one times two is negative two, plus three is one. Negative one plus one is, or sorry, negative one times one is negative one, plus one is zero. Fantastic, negative one is one of our zeros. So we will write that as x plus one. Uh, what we have left is one x squared, plus 2x plus 1. Factors of 1 that add up to 2 would be 1 and 1. So we can factor that part as x plus 1 times x plus 1. All three of these, x equals negative 1. It has a multiplicity of 3. Did it sit, ask for that? So we'd say, uh, I don't see it on here, but just in case, multiplicity of three. Now, I want you to try the one on the next page.